Internal and external storage can be enabled and disabled using the storage menu option. The storage menu is also used to create storage sets for load management to best utilize available internal and external storage. The storage menu has two submenus, camera retention and advanced. From the camera retention page, you can configure a minimum and maximum retention period for recorded media that is stored on your devices. From the advanced menu option, you can configure media folders and storage sets to allow for load balancing. Devices can then be assigned to storage sets as required to best utilize your hardware. You can also view the RAID status of your NVR and if applicable, configure some software RAID settings. The media folders tab displays video edges basic storage configuration. You can assign devices as storage devices, edit media folder settings and allocate a vault media quota. From the storage sets tab, you can assign storage devices to storage sets. By default, one storage set is created for each storage device. From the assign devices tab, you can assign devices to storage sets, configure device storage, retention and recording rate settings. When adding a camera, if only one storage set is available, the new camera will be added to this storage set. If there are multiple storage sets available, you will be prompted to assign the camera to a required storage set. From the RAID tab, you can view RAID information. The format of the RAID page may differ depending on the hardware RAID controller installed. If the NVR has no RAID storage, the page displays no RAID units detected. If the NVR has RAID storage configured, this page will display the status of the RAID. 